Well, now that I got that free, I don't really, I don't feel any drag on there, so I'm just going to wipe it down and put it back together. Uh, all this does is drive the cylinder. This doesn't uh, keep the gear from sliding around or anything, so I really didn't even need to remove that. So i got an old scrubby pad with uh, green Scotch-Brite. So all I'm going to do is work on this end. Polish that up. Get all the goo off of it. Drive gear cleaned up also. There's really not much excess lube on this thing. A little bit of dried up grease, but very little. The threaded drive looks real nice. I like to use Marvel Mystery Oil. Just a little bit. Okay, this is bone dry. The winding mechanism. Dry right there. <clears throat> Hitting everything that you can't get to when it's buttoned up in the cabinet. So this is a very simple machine. There's not much there. Okay. This goes back on. So I want to be very careful how tight I set this. There should be some play. And there is very little. I can just see it move up and down. Okay, so I checked the, the governor earlier. As far as how tight it is, that was set correctly. Looks like it's tracking in the gears. All the gears seem to be lined up. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the machine and give it an ops check, see what happens. Marvel Mystery Oil is also really good on cleaning the goo off of these. It doesn't harm the paint. It dissolves that old buildup of oil. Got to put the spring on it. All right, put it back together and put it back in the cabinet and see if I made it better or worse. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna wind this up and uh, let it run down, wind it up again so the grease gets distributed. Then I'm going to set the governor. Make sure that's not, not too tight. I'm going to set the governor speed next. I need to do it under load. enough. All right, now I'm going to see how many times it can play the cylinder on one wind. So the greasing made no difference, but I haven't really cranked it through that many times, so I'm going to uh, 
wind it up and let it unwind several times and see if it distributes the grease better. No need to film that. Tomorrow. Okay, the phonograph is all back together. Um, I'll let it set in my room. I don't heat this room unless I'm gonna have guests over or I'm working in it. So it's actually 44 degrees in here. So this will be its torture test at 64% humidity. It's fully wound up and we'll see if it plays. I'm curious to see what it does all warmed up if it'll uh, get through the third play a lot better but it never made it this far the last time I, I shot it and it was up to temp so I guess all that grease worked itself around in the spring 20 minutes later so I warmed up the phonograph. I used the hair dryer, so I cheated. It's pushing a summer's day. <laughs> so I'll fire it up and see how long it goes. So this thing has a, a lot more oomph to it than it used to. So I'm going to call the lubrication a success and uh, probably need to do this procedure to the rest of my phonographs. <laughs> 